Okay, so here we are going to do a reading to take a peek at what we can do to really prepare for 2022. Well, one of the things that should be noted is that the sun pops out immediately. So the sun is uh, shameless freedom. Um, it's being very honest with yourself and not feeling like you have to hide anything from anyone else. Just being exactly who you are and not apologizing and basically giving no fucks about what other people think about you. Um, but with it comes freedom and joy. You know, it's like shameless freedom of expression. So right away, the cards are saying... <clears throat> In 2022, uh, it might not be a bad thing to just be who you are and give no fucks about what anyone thinks. That is usually pretty good advice. <clears throat> so, let's see if 2022 is going to be weirder than the last couple. Random word. Basketball number 27. And again, the essence of the question is pretty much what can we do to prepare for whatever the fuck is coming. <clears throat> so, let's take a peek here. All right. So the root card is the reversed Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is about appreciation for who we are and the things that we've done. And the Six of Wands reversed is when you feel like you've really done a lot and nobody cares. No one gives a shit. Um, so as a root card, that's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> So here we have the Magician. We're going to take a peek. So the Magician right away is pretty much about doing the things that you're good at. You know, the Magician here um, is displaying their skills in front of this crowd. You can see the shadows of the crowd in the background. So the Magician is about displaying with confidence the skills that you have, um, especially when you're like being observed. So we have a display of skill. It's um, really showing what you can do, you know. So let's look here at what leads up to it and what comes after. Hmm. So I'm going to put the root card down here too. So in what leads up to the Magician... It's the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is pretty much a territorial defender. So this is kind of keeping your guard up um, because you have a fear of being attacked. Now, that leading up to the Magician, this is like maybe you didn't want to show the skills that you have um, because you were afraid of being attacked. And when it goes back to the sun, in this I can see how this would be true everywhere, maybe you're afraid to say what you actually think um, because of fear of being attacked. And as we all know these days, that's a pretty fucking genuine and real fear. So it leads to the reversed Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is tradition. It's the way things have always been done. It's the power structure. And in the readings that I've done a lot lately, the Hierophant would, it would represent the government. So like world governments and stuff, but this is the big power structure. And the Hierophant reversed is the opposite of that. It's like a rebellion against the big power structure. Um, it's interesting to note that when the Hierophant gets turned upside down, like, this would be, like, the church, or, or, like, the book that the church uses, right? So if this gets turned upside down, it's doing the opposite of that, 
but that energy is still led by the Hierophant. If you do the exact opposite of what the Hierophant says, you're still being controlled by the Hierophant. Um, but I think it is important to note that here there is the defensive energy, and it's defending against being able to do our thing as the magician. And when this happens, it ends up being uh, pretty much a rebellion against a power structure. So, with this, again, as a root card, maybe we feel like we've been doing some of this and just nobody gives a shit, you know? So, that, uh, it looks like 2022 is the time for that to happen. Um, so here, this is going to be a card, this is the golden thread, you know? When in doubt, um, remember this one thing. And we get the Two of Wands... So the Two of Wands is really about using two different tools that you have at your disposal together. Um, here, the person was trying to dig a hole in the ground and they kept breaking their shovels because the earth was really hard there. And eventually they take two broken shovels and use them together and they make this new tool and they're like, wow, this thing works great. But um, just like the Magician... The Magician is showcasing all of these different skills. We've got all of the elements here, you know, but he's using the sword and the cup and the coin and the wand. Um, the Two of Wands is really saying, of the skills that you have, try to combine them. Try to use them together and they become more effective. So if you run into a wall doing one of the things that you do, this is saying combine it with one of the other things. So, to prepare for 2022, do the shit that we can do. The, the stuff that we're really good at. And the time for being afraid is over. Um, and it looks like that energy will probably end up going opposite of a power structure. And I, you don't have to be psychic to figure out what that stuff means in today's world because the power structures are all over the place and they're coming down hard on the people. So it looks like 2022 might be a time when there is a counter wave of energy that basically uh, fucks them in the face. That's, I don't even know why I use that phrase, but that's, that's what came out. So here we go. 2022 in a nutshell, um, do the stuff that you can do. Combine your skills. And if that ends up being a counter current, so be it. Peace.